Hi guys, so we are starting on project six. Now project six is a lot like project five with two differences. You are using the same topic, but you are going to be against it this time. So last time we talked in my example, we talked about censorship. So last time I was for it, meaning I agreed with it. This time I'm against it. So same topic, different position. The second major difference is that when you get to the work cited, you're not just going to copy the links, you are going to do an MLA citation. So let me just go through everything quick and then I'll show you how to do the MLA citation. So much like the first one, all of your instructions are here. First step is you're gonna watch this and then you're gonna to go to Ask RI. So go back over to here. You're gonna go down to the point of view reference center, go back in, you are going to go back to the same topic that you did for five, the same exact one. So we did banning books for the example. So we'll go in here. And now instead of um, the one that you used last time, you're gonna use the one that's against it. So for me, that would be this one. And then over here, you're going to do your evaluation worksheet same worksheet you're just evaluating this different article so you'll go through here you'll evaluate who what where when why all that same stuff you're going to look for bias again and just like the last time you're going to um you're going to be making a little presentation that has some a uh, couple paragraphs on your topic so here's a place for you to do your pre-writing so oops this. So that's what you're going to do for that. Then the next step is you're going to look at your rubric and it looks very much the same as five because it's pretty much the same project. You're just doing the opposite opinion. So you're going to do Prezi again. So you're going to have the first slide with your name uh, and a picture uh, that represents your topic. You're going to have an introduction paragraph with the three sentences telling me what your topic is again telling me that this time you're against it. Um, you're gonna have another slide that has the main body of your uh, your writing. So five sentences, reasons that you could, with three reasons you could use against your argument and a conclusion. Um, so that's very much the same as the last time, only you're against it this time. So for this, you also need MLA citations instead of links. So when we cite a source, we're giving credit to the person or the place where we found the information. So there's a standard format for doing that. It's called, we're going to use MLA. So if you come over here and this link is right here. So you go to that link and you're going to come to this. This is the MLA citation machine. So I'm letting you guys do it with this so it's a little easier for you. You fill in all of these boxes. So the first thing it needs to know is the article title. So let's go back to the article. The article title is point. Book censorship is an attack on freedom of the press. So I will copy it, come back over to here and put it in. Now it wants to know the author, the contributor. So go back over here and we can't just copy and paste it because it's not in the right order. So this is the last name. Is it, is, is it, is his name, Micah. So that's the first guy, Micah, is it? And then C. Ames Cushman is the next one. So there are two. So Micah Isit, so we'll go back here, wants to know the first name was Micah. Last name was Isit. And then there were two authors, so we'll add the other one. C. Ames Cushman. So C. Ames Cushman. Now it wants to know the website title. So go back over here. The website title is Points of View Reference Center. So we can copy that, put that in there. It wants to know the publisher. So now for this one, if it does not say on the top, we can also look at the bottom. So let's go all the way down and look. Remember, we always wanna look near the, the small print. So it wants to know the publisher. So property of Great Neck Publishing. So sometimes you gotta read and think about it. Publisher, something called publishing, that would make sense, so put that in. The URL is the website address. 
we go back up to the top, this right here is the website address. So we're going to copy it, put it in. Now, it wants to know the date that it was published. So, looking around, I don't see anything specific on the bottom. So up at the top, we have this date, March 1st, 2016. So we'll put that in. So March year was 2016. Now the date that it was accessed means the date that you looked at it. So that's, if you looked at it today, you hit today. And then you hit create citation. So what you get here is your citation. So they've put the names of the authors, they've put the name of the article, the website, all of that, they put it in the, a standard format for you. So you didn't have to figure out how to do it. All you had to do was fill in the blanks. So this is what you copy and paste and you're going to put onto your Prezi under citations. This is an MLA citation. You're going to need one of these for every site that you use for this project. So you'll have one for Ask RI and then you might have other ones for other websites. So you just have to look around and find all of those things that you need and fill in the blank. So you do a new one of these for each source and then you just copy and paste this onto your Prezi. And then just like normal, when you're done, you're going to attach the Prezi just like you did the last time. And then you um, are going to submit your project. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Remember, you're using the same topic, you're against it this time, and you need MLA citations. Okay, if you don't have those things, I'm going to send it back to you for corrections, okay? So just let me know if you need help, and good luck.